Hello, this demonstration is going to uh, kind of give you a guide on using the new save as drawing template uh, command and the bulk drawing creation tool. Uh, what I've got is a, a little so assembly here of just three parts. I uh, put some dimensions on them and I want to lay out some uh, drawing views. And you'll see um, I put some properties in here as well. Um, we'll uh, finish this up and save that. So I've got my assembly here and uh, I've saved it and I want to create some drawings of uh, the assembly plus three parts. So I want uh, an assembly sheet and then I want three uh, part sheets. So you know normally you'd have to create a new sheet for for each one and you know select your parts, do configurations, whatever, but with the bulk creation tool you can do it all in one shot. So I'll click this button here. I want to create a, a top level scene drawing and uh, I'll pick a one-to-one a -one sheet that I've created and then I've got my other sheets defaulted to a two-to-one scale so you can create these uh, view sheets at, at whatever scale you want and then I'll hit OK and it goes and it starts generating views so I get my uh, my four drawing views um, I got my part name here uh, you can look at the the different views and um, you know put in um, the names and I could have put a bill of materials in here as well but I, I didn't do that in my drawing but we'll do that when I, I show you how to create the templates we'll, we'll go ahead and add a bill of material and then we'll also show you how to to set up default shading as well so you don't have to do that each time but you see the dimensions come through uh, you know from the model you can move those around you know put those pretty much where you want and and really quickly generate a, a bunch of drawings uh, on the fly without having to go through a lot of work so Let's close this down and uh, we'll close this file as well and uh, show you kind of how to create this. So I'm going to start with my uh, view part. This is just a, a simple part and what I did is I, I created a, a front view direction. So uh, I have a definition of the front view direction and that's kind of shown in another video but that tells it how the, the front view is going to interact. And so I want to create some uh, standard templates. So I'll just go to a new file and pick drawing and I'm going to just start with a, a standard sheet. So I'm going to start with my C size sheet. And I can uh, put some views on it, first of all. And I want to associate to the front view direction that's in my model. And then pick my four views and just place them there. And then uh, I want to go ahead and put my bill of materials in. And I'll go OK to that. And I'll put my bill of materials. And the one thing I believe you need to do is uh, set the uh, bill of materials to the template layer so that it'll get stored with the template when you do save that and I think that's important and we'll see that later. I'm going to right click on the title text and I'm going to put in the uh, part name here so the part name becomes uh, part of the title block and then I want to shade the the view here so that's shaded. So then what I do is I come up to the main menu and oh by the way I, my scaling Right now it's two to one, so that's fine. So I'll make my view, and I'll go File, Save at, Save Drawing as Template, and then I'll say uh, C Size Two to One. Okay, and I'll save that to my desktop, and I'll tell you why in a second. And then I'll do uh, one to one here, and I'll make a new template. And we'll save that as a drawing, and we'll just call this one to one, and save that. And the reason why uh, I saved it to the desktop is because by default you can't save into program files. So this program files location where templates are stored, I'm going to go ahead and delete my old ones, and uh, I'll just move the stuff from my desktop into that folder, and that gives me permission to do that. So I got my two templates. I'm all set to go. So now I can close this. I can go back to my assembly. So I load up my assembly again. And then I again, I click that bulk creation. And it's just warning me that the template's missing. So that's fine, the old template. And that's a good warning just to let you know what's going on. So I want the assembly to be one to one. Um, for the individual parts, I want those to be two to one. So I can make that the default. And then I can kind of shift or just box select those and set everything two to one. So I got my assembly at one to one, 
and the rest of my parts at two to one. I hit OK. And you get all your sheets. You see the text updates. You know, you got all your drawings. Everything's there. You know, again, your dimensions. You know, you got your part files. And, and you're all good to go. So, you know, and you see this one says part three. And you zoom down, this one says part two. So, so all your, uh, you know, titles go along with your part names, which, which can be helpful. And you can do part numbers and, and descriptions, things like that as well. And, and fill in that data. So hopefully that gives you a good outline of uh, how to use these new tools in 2018. Uh, one thing to note with the uh, 2018 product update one, we're going to have an auto scale function so you can uh, have one template and it'll auto scale the views to fit the sheets. And once that's uh, implemented, then you won't have to worry so much about view scales and, and different templates for different view scales. So that'll be great. Thanks a lot and have a good day.